Okay, here, let's talk about the refund monitor. The refund monitor, you can open it up from here. Here, this is the refund monitor. The refund monitor has the name refund, that means for refund for viewing, and you cannot edit the video from here. So just for display, display the sequence, the same sequence as you see it in the program panel here. But in a in a refund monitor here, you can do display another display mode like this. You can display RGB array like this here. So you can both see the the same frame like this in this in this sequence. You can see the image in here, and you can also see the, this image RGB array in the refer monitor here. So. And in another way, you can display a YC waveform. You can display a vertoscope. So if you do color correction, so you can display the the display mode in here and do the color correction. At the same time, you can see the image in here, and also you can display the RGB, YC, vertoscope, and etc. Or even the alpha channel, if you do have a alpha channel on your sequence. And for example, we do in RGB parade in in this, so we can both see the image in the sequence and the the phrase RGB parade in here. So we can do the color correction and check it up from here. For example, we can do a color correction like this one. We apply this effect to the clip here, and we can open up the effect control in here so in here we can adjust the color so you can see the image change like this and at the same time you can check it the value the RGB parade change from the root monitor here like this the image change on the frame here and the RGB parade the color information change in here like this you can move into another frame and at the same time they display on the program panel here the image and also the RGB play information change at the same time and if you want you can change for another display mode for example a YC waveform like this so you can do color correction you can see the image change here and also you can check it the image, the image information, RGB, YC waveform like this, they display here. So you can do it for color correction, compare, and display in here both two monitor in here. And this is one thing you can use for a refund for a refund monitor here. And if you do color correction or you do keying. You can check the alpha channel. Same thing if you do a key. Uh, for example, we do a color key like this. We apply to here. We open it up from here. We disable this one. Open up this. And we can check it, the alpha channel. For example, we made a red color here. Tolerance. So you can display the alpha channel like this. So when you do keying effect, do video composition, so you can check both the image here and the alpha channel. Okay, this is one way you can use the different monitor to display a different mode other than the program panel here. They display the same frame in here. So you can display in here. And more than this, you can display the magnification in here for example you can tweak it in 100% like this in a composite video like this or even more 800 or 10% just up to you depending depend on what you want to use the refer monitor here okay and in another way you can display the same sequence but in another another frame like, like this, if you have move, if you move the current time indicator here on the sequence, both here 
both here the program panel and the refine monitor display the same frame if you want you can unscan it just check it and select the scan to program monitor so you can move to another frame in the same sequence like this the program panel always display the frame in the current time indicator in the tiler here and you can move to another frame in this sequence, the same sequence here. So in this way you can compare compare two image, two frame in the same sequence, like this. We disable this. Like this, we have this frame with this frame. So you can compare for the color, for the motion or whatever you can compare. Compare two frame in the same sequence like this. You uncan it. You can move the display, the display frame in here. So like this, and this is for comparing two frame in the same sequence. And also you can use this to pick up a color from the another frame like this. In a in the sequence here, you can pick up a color from here. But you want to apply to this frame. We made an example. The example for example we okay a color control we can use the color match for example we apply a color match effect to the frame here and we want to change the color the red face to a white face like this one so you can use the refine monitor to pick up the color you want for example like this a color match that's a master sample so you can pick up the uh, color from this clip here and you can move it to this clip like this one so you can pick up the master target color like this so you can pick up from here so you can pick up the color the master sample color from this clip and pick up the master target color from here from the reference monitor so so you can pick up the color like this um, shadow, shadow sample shadow target so you can pick up it so you can do the color correction like this and more than this you can use the reference monitor here in here they have um, the button here that's the GAN GAN the reference monitor to the program monitor you have no gate you select it, you can move it both they display the same frame in the sequence here right like here you can move it if you uncan it, you can move it independently in the same sequence here like this, so you can do comparing or pick up the color from here and here they have the um, uh, go to the preview at the point, so you click it you go to the preview at the point here and here they have to go to the next point here for example if you get it together so you can see both the the current indicator move as you click it here. here go to the preview at the point and if you click it again go to the preview at the point go to here like this and the next at the point you know get the next will be here this is the same as you move it from here and here they have the step back that means one one click one frame backward here frame step four or frame four like this one click at a time one frame at a click like this you can move it and here they have the drop view you can move the uh, CTI the quantum indicate slowly or faster as you draw on the drop view here it's the same as you move in here on the program panel here and here they have no play button because you cannot play the sequence in the refer monitor you can only display the single frame in the refer monitor here and and here they have the uh, output the output or I call this a display mode like this uh, composite video uh, alpha mode uh, all score auto score like this YC waveform 
like this, like this. And here you can display the display mode, the output, like this, so you can check it. And also the the image quality right here, and also they have the playback setting. You can open up the playback setting here, so you can you can make the setting from here, okay, for the playback. And here they have the monitor, the menu, the refresh monitor menu in here. This is the option you can check it. This is the same as you in select it from here. And again, again the refresh monitor to the program monitor. This is the same as the button here. And here the display mode in here, so you can select it from this button. And the image quality. So you can select it from here. This is the same. Okay. So if you go back to composite video in here. Yeah. This is the way you can use the refer monitor. Okay.